Love, I'm here with uh, Jenny and Henry Schaefer, the owners of Bento Miso and the people who pretty much set up this awesome event that's going down downstairs. That's why it's so quiet right here, though. That's, <laughs> the event's actually going on right now. But anyways, we're two floors above it. Yep. So you guys uh, helped set up uh, the Comps vs. Game events. Um, How did you guys get in trust, touch with like those uh, the attract mode guides to uh, do all this type of stuff? Um, I actually pitched Bit Bizarre uh, to TCAF mm -hmm. about uh, almost a year ago, actually. Mm -hmm. um, last, yeah, almost a year ago, mm -hmm. I just wanted to do something alongside TCAF that was more focused on game developers and mm -hmm. what interesting kinds of physical things that they might make. Um, so that's where it started, and then uh, Chris Butcher, who runs TCAF, uh, said, hey, why don't we roll this into Comics vs. Games 2? It fits really perfectly. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know Miguel. And uh, I was introduced to, um, well, actually, we had met uh, Matt last year at TCAF, and, and that's where it started. So mm -hmm. the event that's going on right now is uh, the gallery component, and that was all organized by Attract Mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys are just giving them the space because it's actually a lot bigger than it was um, last year at um, Magic Pony. Magic Pony. Yeah. Yes. So all of the off-site Comics vs. Games two events are here. Mm. Um, the on-site event at the Toronto Reference Library mm. is the showcase. So there's four games that Hand Eye Society and Miguel Sternberg have organized. Mm. Those will be on-site at TCAF um, throughout the festival, Saturday mm. and Sunday. Yeah. All the other TCAF um, Comics vs. Games 2 events are here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got the gallery opening tonight, which is an awesome party, plus all of the um, 21 artists that Track Mode has put together, mm -hmm. uh, plus all of the games from Comics vs. Games 1 and 2 are set up downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, and Saturday's Bit Bazaar, uh, 24 exhibitors, all local independent uh, game developers who have created zines, toys, uh, mixtapes, uh, posters, prints, plushies, plushies really. all sorts of really cool physical artifacts related to the games that they've developed. Mm -hmm. And then also on Saturday we have uh, the panel, Narrative Intersections, with uh, Scott C., Brian Lee O'Malley, Jim Zup, and uh, Benjamin Rivers. Oh, wow. That's yeah. Like Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Uh, uh, Saturday afternoon. So you're gonna. So anyone who isn't here tonight will be able to catch the gallery exhibit, mm -hmm. Bit Bazaar, and the panel all on Saturday. Yeah. Saturday is the day to be here for yeah, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. All oh, three events. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you guys uh, like aside from you already plugged the, the Bit Bazaar and everything like that, which is sounds like an awesome event, which I'll be here also again. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to just aside from you know Banco Mies and something like that you guys want to plug or anything like that or. Well. I would like to say that Miso is uh, now primarily game members, and we want more game members. Yeah. If you're an independent game developer in Toronto, you should be working out of Bento Miso. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, that sounds nefarious. It, I know if there's good intent involved. It sounds like, well, I mean, give, bring us all your games. We just bring like your... them, and we want to be around them. Yeah, we just want to be around the games all the time, and we do like you know uh, games with friends and stuff like that. It's a mm -hmm. great opportunity to play test and be around other game makers, mm -hmm. and uh, to really leverage you know game uh, marketing, uh, design, production, you name it. All of that can be leveraged by the community that's supporting. You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and as the community grows, those resources grow and grow and grow. And uh, now that Miso is a not-for-profit, uh, everything that we do with Miso is about reinvesting into that community. Mm -hmm. So. It's kind of like everyone gets what they put into it, and then some. That sounds really awesome, actually. Yeah. Yeah, less nefarious, nefarious now? Less, less nefarious. All right, less, a little less nefarious. I'm, I'm, there might be a soil and green thing at the end yeah. of this, but like right now... And then we weird. eat your games. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> All right, cool. That's All right. awesome, guys. Thanks. Are you good? Seriously, guys.